probably wondering why we took a plane, because the car we're picking up is way too far away. It's like a 13 hour drive, so we figured we'd take a plane here. We are in Hiroshima, which is the famous, you know, where the nuclear bomb hit. Ironically, we arrive on the same day, something like the 80th anniversary of when the bomb hit here. So that just happened, super random. But we're here to pick up a car. Mission. But you're coming with me, boys. This is Hiroshima Station, which was an hour away from the airport. So it's not like where we're from. The station is ridiculously far from the airport, but we made it. Hopefully we can freshen up here, get some food or something. It's pretty big though. Little whiskey stop. These bottles caught my eye. They're super cool. And they're not bad. It's like, what, 30 bucks for a bottle? I mean, I just tried this one. They're giving out samples. You can try any of them, and obviously, this one is the best, but these aren't bad. And I really just want it for the bottle. It's cool, it comes with this guy, little stand. I'm hyped, got it, check it out. All right, <laughs> next stop. Well, this is interesting, little yakiniku stop. This train station just has food for days, but we need to eat, yeah. <laughs> interesting, Can you just get your cup here, and it's all self-serve. A oh, little personal grill right here. You got your menu, and it's really cheap. What, how much? 12 bucks for 450 grams of meat? Mm -hmm. That's insane. Yeah, but I'm hungry. Stoked. Can we just appreciate the fitment of these trays? <laughs> Perfect fitment, oh my gosh. Legit, this is between me and Leah. We got this and this, about 14 bucks. So cheap. This is amazing, gotta love it. Okay, the journey continues. We arrived at the train station. Now, this is the last stretch to go get the Ferrari. The 20 minute walk from here, which is kind of not that bad, but and it's the hot. Of stuff that we're carrying. Yeah, I'm it's carrying all this stuff. It's really humid. It's like 99% humidity right now and it's like 80 degrees. I'm still in disbelief. I always talk trash about supercars, but really, I'm kind of excited for this one. I think I always hated on supercars because I just can't afford them. And I still can't afford them. It's just this one was a really good deal. So that's the only reason. And my brother's going half on it with me. So I couldn't say no. Last stretch. Let's go get this car. It's a mile away but this place is so country that there's no taxis. So what else are we gonna do? We have to walk it. This has become the most epic journey to go pick up this car and we still have to drive it back 13 hours. It's starting to rain, but we're getting close. We're going underneath a freeway right now. It says we're about five minutes away. Journey, freaking lugging all this. So tired. It's just, Pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> I know you love this kind of stuff. See, we're getting a little hike in, a little nature walk. Get to explore a little bit. This place is so country though. Yeah, these houses are pretty sick. You wanna just move out here? 
It's probably really cheap, huh? So cheap. Yeah. You could probably get a brand new house with all this land. Look, look at this huge fig tree. Look. Oh, there's figs yeah. in there. Look at those figs. Dang. This is cool. I would totally play in here if I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> this is super cool. Visual? All right, two more minutes. All right, so high ice. That's cool. Shop is right around this corner, boys. I'm getting excited. And this is it. This is it. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> With a GTR right behind it too. What are these people gonna think? Us just coming in there, I'm like sweating. I just look like masked right now. There it is, it? boys. Oh my gosh. Is That's insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks crazy. What is going on, boys? What is going on? Okay, we should probably uh, tell them we're here. This is the GTT, not a GTR. Pretty cool though. Can you believe it, guys? Because I can't. I really can't. I don't even know much about Ferraris, but I know this thing has probably a really expensive kit on it. I can't say how much I bought it for, but let's just say you would have bought it too. <laughs> this is it. I'm excited. Here it is. We're trying to start it right now. Battery's dead. Their jumper's dead as well, so I think they're gonna pull up a car or something. But yeah, it is automatic. That's why we did get it for cheaper, but me and Gabe are gonna swap the transmission on this thing. Don't worry about that. All right, we're waiting for a jumper pack, but this place is so nice. Look at the showroom. Perfect 32 GTR. Silly avert. But I'm here for the fish. <laughs> oh my. Gosh. That's a dat noise. That's a dat noise. I can't believe that. Yeah, maybe I can show them our little addiction that we have going on at the house after this. Yeah, they get huge. They're monster fish. But yeah, back to that topic. I did set up my own fish tank at home and I got me arowana and I got me a dat noid as well. That's for another vlog. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see my little fish tank, my nerd hobby. Dang, this is amazing. So nice. Check out this customer service. I mean, we are buying a Ferrari, so. <laughs> Got us some coffee. I'm just happy I can stare at, at these fish. fish. This is Aronis. the best view ever. And that noise. Just so happens we've been like nerding out on fish lately yeah. and then they got the monster fish yes. magazine. They don't have this guy in the tape. Right? Yeah. But yeah, I was just telling me how they have a whole bunch of different arowanas. Look at all these. But look at how they're holding the arowanas here. <laughs> what is going on? They're legit pets. Arowanas are pets when they, they like this They big. like being held. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys for nerding yeah, out. Yeah, I don't think everyone, anyone like, no, cares about this. I'm sure there is people that want to see this. I know you guys <laughs> do. But I'm going to bring you to a legit uh, fish store here in Japan that sell crazy exotic fish crazy and illegal. stingrays. Illegal. It's not illegal here though, but yes, no, but back home. It is US. so illegal yeah. with some of these fish. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you boys with me. Look at these fish tanks. Monster fish tanks. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna nerd out on this. Look what I found, guys. This guy is on to something. It's in the cars, in the fish. He's got a little office room right here. Lamborghini in the back. This is my kind of guy right here. Look at that, the Lamborghini is in the back. Yeah. Dang. How sick is this? The Maybe the owner of this shop is in this magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was gonna say. He might just be, look at all the bass, dang. Oh, that's really colorful. Yep, we're going. You know what, in fact, let's go. Baby, let's bring a, <laughs> let's a monster go. fish in the car. Let's put him in the home. front of the Ferrari. <laughs> we're going home, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait to show you guys my fish tank. I got a baby one of these. He's an animal, only eats live. I'll show you guys. I mean, they look this crazy in a magazine. That's pretty cool comparison though, like real life in magazine. <laughs> Their colors are just insane. Well, 
They got staff out there trying to start the Ferrari. I don't know what's going on over there. They threw in a new battery. There's a little button in here. Silence it. Open it up. Insane. It's so loud though. to the front bumper. Oh, what? <laughs> well, that's where our luggage is going, I guess. We're ready, boys. Are you guys ready for this? Ferrari boys? <laughs> so sick. You can see the engine through the window. Yes. All right, we're going to head out of here soon, hopefully. Well, the battery's on the way, but check this out lounge area here with the simulators oh this is too cool especially this owner is just a baller oh god sick though look at that i still can't believe it all right the new battery's here four hours later we've just been lounging but i'm gonna swap this thing out and get out of here I'm ready to go drive this thing. Our plans kind of got ruined today. We had like everything set, full schedule. We had planned out everything and kind of got ruined, but it's okay. We're in a Ferrari. <laughs> all right, new batteries in. We are all set to go, boys. Finally gonna hit the road. It's about a 10 hour drive, but we're gonna make some stops along the way. It sounds so garbage when the valves are closed, but when it's open, this thing screams, but they said, try and keep it down a little bit. So we're ready. The original battery was just completely dead. I've been running around trying to get a battery. We had to order one. It worked out. We waited here for quite some time, but we're ready to go. Little hiccups not gonna phase me. I'm still gonna enjoy our time on this road trip. I'm just excited. I got the car finally. What a journey, guys. Uh, yeah, like I mentioned before though, we were talking to the OMD boys, specifically Ferrari Steve. He said the automatic transmission shares the same components as the manual transmission. So it's really not that hard to swap it over to a manual trans. So I think that's the goal for this car eventually. But as of now, we're gonna mess around with the paddle shifters. I don't even know what to expect. I did drive Andy's 360 a while back and it was fun. So obviously with the gate shifter, it's gonna be way better, but I got a 12 hour drive, so. I honestly don't mind the automatic as of right now. I'm loving this interior though. This red interior is sick. All right, waiting for Leah. We're gonna hit the road. <laughs> We're in a Ferrari, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. This is crazy. This is a video game. What's going on? What? Does it have automatic like rev match? Oh, it does. Oh, we gotta get gas. Yeah, we need to get gas. We're gonna run out. All right, gas stop. We are empty. We made it. Gas stop. Yeah, we almost had a panic attack. <laughs> Just full anxiety. I didn't know how to put it in the park. <laughs> I don't know how to put the thing in park. I don't know how to put it in reverse. I know nothing about this car. Oh my gosh. You know how many people are gonna hate me? Like this guy doesn't even know what he bought. And I'm sorry guys, but can we at least get some B-roll while Leah's filling up? Let's get on the road. All right, so you start the car. Okay, and I found out to put it in neutral, you gotta use both paddle shifts 
at the same time and it throws it into neutral. In reverse, I couldn't figure out how to use this, but you have to pull up and put it back. That's reverse, right? And then to go forward, paddle shift, first gear, and yeah, that's that. I guess we'll continue to learn more as we go. We're gonna hit the road. We'll see where the day brings us. This thing is so loud. Oh my gosh. I still can't believe we're in a Ferrari. It gets quiet when you get on the throttle. That's weird. I love the automatic rev match though. That's so a race car. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, it just makes you want to go like 200 miles an hour. Just driving two hours down, six hours to go for the next stop, but I don't know if we're gonna make it that far. So far, so good. This car is awesome. It does have the airbag light on, and I don't know why those two lights are really dim. I mean, it's not a perfect car. It's probably why I got it for a pretty good deal. You cozy? You cozy over there? Yeah. It's nice, huh? It's nice. I think next stop is most likely gonna be food. Little pit stop, and I wasn't gonna film, but look how expensive these fruits are. So you got like seven grapes there and one peach. 1,800 yen, that's like 15 bucks. $15, why? <laughs> What's the- This whole, this whole thing is 3,200 yen. 3, Jeez, that's like 20, 25 Wait, bucks for you six? You can smell it, you can smell how sweet it is from here. I don't care how sweet it is. <laughs> yeah, but this is ridiculous. Look at this. Ten bucks for one peach. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Thousand yen. So yeah, seven dollars for one peach. Um, I'm good. So we're about two hours into the drive and Okayama is like known for their peaches. That's why they're so expensive. But they have so many peach flavored things. Momo drops. So Momo means peach. About to get these for Momo. Peach cake, peach jelly, peach crackers. Let's get her the peach. Yeah, jelly. they have all kinds of. Look at that. That looks so bomb. That's Why does it say? Too. Yeah, we gotta get something for Momo. This is all for her. Yep. More peach stuff. Look at that. Does it actually? Oh, it does come in this little peach container. That's pretty yeah. interesting. Nice. Five bucks for one. You should get one for her and she'll reuse it. She'll probably eat like ice cream in it or something. Get one, that'd be sweet. And then can I get this please? Is this just a big daikon? Mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, actually I eat all this stuff, <laughs> surprisingly. This wasabi though. Ooh, wasabi. I don't know what it is. Should we sample it? I'm about to go nuts in here. We made it boys. Oh, we made it to the hotel in the middle of nowhere because it's late. We're gonna go try and find something to eat. <laughs> this hotel isn't too fancy. That's all we found. Let's see it. Oh, nice. It's got a weird stench to it, but <laughs> yeah, not bad. It's actually pretty decent size. Anyways, exhausted, but we're gonna try and find food. We'll see if we can find anything. It's so quiet. But me and Leah are gonna go explore and try and find food. Apparently there's restaurants not too far away. Look at little homie right there. He's fishing. Oh my gosh, there's so much fish. Homie's really fishing out here. <laughs> there's jellyfish. Oh, there is jellyfish. Yeah. Wait, this is the ocean? Yeah. Okay, so we're right on the coast then. We are in Akko City. Oh, there really is a bunch of jellyfish. Sorry for the, the crappy footage guys but that's pretty interesting are you sure you're bringing us somewhere <laughs> there's supposed to be restaurants up this street just exploring 
wanted to see if they had anything different in their vending machines. What is freaking Jungle Man? Jungle Man juice and Godzilla energy. Sweet Kiss, apple yogurt, melon cream soda. Yeah, they do have different stuff here. Oh, they got different boss. I haven't seen those. Oh, by the way, we didn't. We haven't found anything. We've been walking for like two miles. <laughs> okay, this is how karaoke boxes used to be. Like when my mom used to go. So like in the 70s and 80s, this is what they used to look like. I see each one is a room. Oh, and everyone's singing in it. This is pretty cool. Is it so? <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is what it used to look like. So because it's like so country out here, where karaoke box still looks like. Yeah, like, that's pretty yeah, interesting. In Tokyo, karaoke boxes don't look like that anymore. No. But that's why they used to call it karaoke box. We found a spot. Family dining, tomato, onion. They're open. Shall we go? Okay, or there's Okay, there's a ramen shop. But tomato, onion. <laughs> tomato, <laughs> onion. Ah, uh, I don't know. Your call. Okay, let's, let's see. Because we decided to go to the ramen shop right in front of our hotel. <laughs> so we just walked like two miles. Ah, <sighs> it's okay. Got our exercise in for the day. So this is pretty interesting that Leah just mentioned. This is an after school program and kids are still in there studying. They have these and Leah used to go to one when she was younger. And apparently that's what you do here. After school, after dinner, you go to a place like this. There's teachers in there and you study. That's kind of wild. Is it wild? I don't know. Is that normal, guys? I don't know. I never heard of such thing. I would never go to school after school. <laughs> I, I didn't want to. It's just like you do it. Everyone does it. Going, I so see. Like, it but it's late. Why are they still studying? It's summer break. Oh, that's why in summer break you like go all day. Oh that's the my time gosh. to like grind. Okay, maybe Japan as an adult is way better than Japan as a child. We have arrived. And our hotel's right there. And we just walked. 5,000 steps. 5,000 steps. <laughs> oh, okay. Ramen time. All you can eat pickled takana. Love all you can eat pickled takana. <laughs> well, this is it, huh? All you can eat takana. This stuff is so good. A bunch of different types of ramen. This was our first choice. Why did we not stick with our first choice? Usually the first choice, first choice is, is always the best, the best choice, choice, guys. Yeah. Where's your pro tip of the day? Oh my gosh. We are living. <laughs> I'm so hyped. Yes, we got food. It's late. Time to smash. So Leah said this all you can eat takana? Mm, takana. Dump this in your ramen, right? Well, that's what I like to do. <laughs> or you it's can just so eat it good. as is. It's actually pretty spicy. Mm. Okay. So I got the ramen with everything in it. Four chashu, negi, mushroom, corn, egg, nori, and spicy something. The thin noodles, okay, pro tip. That's ramen, thin noodles. Firm thin noodles, that is the secret. Ten out of ten. Not just because I'm starving, but it's actually it really hits the, good. It hits the spot. It hits the spot, for yeah. sure. Oh, it's re it really is thin. Wow. Super thin. That's it. That was fire. That was the best ramen. Yeah, that place is gonna blow up. Yeah. Mark, mark our words. You heard it here first. <laughs> that place is going places. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. We'll see you guys in the morning. Pretty surreal waking up and remembering that. That's my car. There's like no space in this. I think it's because this hood. Did yeah. you notice this? Uh -huh. So this doesn't, this is not supposed to be here. So this is taking up like a lot of the room. You're not allowed to put anything in there? <laughs> <laughs> you can. Like put ice and like put your drinks in there? Yeah, for sure. No, it's so cool because it's like right to the front bumper vents. Oh, really? And it goes in and out through the front bumper. You know, aerodynamic stuff, dude. We're going to startle her. I feel bad. They're gonna be so pissed. I know. That's why after you cold start, we have to dip. like dip. I'm gonna press the button. Yeah, I need to figure this out. I think one of the buttons is like not working and I think one of the, the valves is staying closed. So maybe it's even louder than this. That sounds broken. I like that. 
Anyways, what's the plan for today? Leah's got something planned. Are we still? Okay, yeah. Let's just go. Let's get out. I didn't even get to let the the Rari warm up though. We are struggling to get out of this driveway. I'm like completely sideways. Ah, uh, it's gonna hit. Are you... Ah. Uh. over here so you can put air on this thing. <laughs> Alright. Oh well. We're off. Adventures of today. No idea. Well before we drive any further I'm just gonna head to Auto Box which is three minutes away. Try and get some ATF. Fill it up because it is pretty low so all our plans are pretty much ruined. We haven't done anything on this road trip. We've just been driving and we are still six hours away. Hopefully we can do something though. And they also have a second street thrift stores. I gotta hit that while we're here. Look what I found. They have a whole Moon Eye section in here. Get out. It's so cheap too. It's actually cheaper. What? Go nuts, babe. <laughs> I think this... Um, this made our this trip is, better? No, this is the highlight of the trip. This is the highlight. <laughs> We've just been driving. We haven't done anything. Dang, they got everything. Sick. Dang. Oh, I wanted another one of these. Last one. They got a denim one, that's pretty cool. They got more floor mats. They got license plate frames. We already have that floor mat. They got the buckets too. We're on, boys. Check this out, they have passing the chariots. What is it? This is so Oh no, funny. you put it inside your gas tank. It's a power, power shot. Shots. Dang. So in Japan, they call it wild speed, apparently. That's what the Fast and Furious is called. Wild speed. Wild speed. Like short for wild speed, white speed. That's so interesting. Anyways, we got some coin holders, a new tissue case holder, a little shotgun, kids on board, gloves, house key rubber things. Oh yeah, all right. Now we gotta agree at this ATF. Well, we just spent a hundred bucks on <laughs> random stuff. <laughs> what are we doing? Anyways. I got the transmission fluid. I'm gonna throw this in and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything works out. They were like, what car are you putting it in? They're like, Toyota. <laughs> Cause Steve said that we could put Toyota fluid if they don't have GM fluid. And they're like, okay, what, what Toyota? Leah's like, it's a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, uh, okay. We're like, we talked to our Ferrari mechanic. It's okay. They're like, okay. Vanessa. Should be about an inch up on the dipstick, says Steve, and that looks about an inch. That's the issue here that we're having. Transmission's leaking. It's about an $8,000 fix. Ferrari things. I don't think I know what I was getting myself into. Probably gonna park this thing. High maintenance boy. One of my favorite thrift stores. Let's go check this out before we get back on the road. Looks kind of small. Probably won't have much. Let's see, they got some J's. We got the Travis Scott's, 350 bucks, not bad. Union Lowe's, for like 100 bucks. Dub Tap Bands, Spanky Skins, those are old school. This is pretty cool though, we got a bunch of stuff. It's got like Supreme, Neighborhood, Babe, I love it. Found some pretty much dead stock whole gray 11s for 200 bucks. Oh, no luck at the second street. We are back in the whip. Installed some cup holders because it was driving me nuts. This car has nothing. You cannot put your drinks anywhere. It's already 5 p.m. We are still about six hours away. Let's go, baby. It's just been a wild trip. Not wild. Absolutely ruined our trip yes. because of car problems yes. and traffic and Leah had this whole thing scheduled out. Every single plan we had got canceled. We ended up in the wrong places, 
car problems, places closing early, weather, it's just been a wreck. But the car is driving, we are safe, and I'm happy about that. It should drive, okay. hopefully, but things could be worse. I think we need to eat. Okay, this is super random, and I, I thought I should just film this because me and Leah are just tripping out right now. Anyways, so we have the map set up to go to this place. Here's the backstory. Leah, she ordered a driver seat rail, and the lady's like, okay, that's not gonna be in for another two weeks. So we're like, oh, well, we need one now. Can we just get a left side? She's like, oh, you can't. You can't cancel your order. Even though they have the left side, it's just gonna come a little later. But we need a driver's side now. So we look up the address, and of all cities, we're in like the most random area of Japan in the country. And tell me why these people, these people's address is a five minute drive away from where we are. This is from so random stopped. from where we just stopped to go oh, get ATF. This is insane. We're gonna pull up at these people's shop and be like, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that's typing. I'm the one that's texting I'm the one that's you. <laughs> fighting with you right now. <laughs> uh, through mail. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so epic. Why are we here? This makes zero sense, but they're what in the country. A, what is this? It's a home. I will knock on their front door. They're being so rude, saying it doesn't matter, they can't cancel. I'm like, you didn't even ship the item yet. Why can you not cancel this? This is ridiculous. We just wanna see where they live. Can I just talk for a minute? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Pull up in the Ferrari. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is so random. Are we here? Yeah. We are here. Autocraft. Don't ever order from these people again. I can't believe we're gonna go confront the people you're just beefing with online. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Those are the most rude, inconsiderate people I've ever met in Japan. If you guys ever hear of Autocraft Japan, don't ever go to them. Like Freaking scammers. They have a lot of like complaints, same as me. Basically, people are like, if you don't have it in stock, then why are you even posting it? Yeah, basically, they make you pay and then they It's kind of a trick. It's they like trick you. Trick. Mm -hmm. And then people's stuff comes really late and they don't warn you, they don't say anything. Scammers! On the bright side, Ferrari runs good. We are on the way to get some food. Finally. I haven't done a pool. I'm, I want to do maintenance on the car, but I've been driving for like 12 hours. I just want to do a pool. Should we do it? We have made it to our destination for the night. Marriott, huh? 
We getting fancy now, babe? <laughs> Let's check out the room. All right, now we are talking. Look at this. This is a step up from what we just came from. <laughs> It's always Marriott. Marriott, yeah, Hilton, Marriott, they're always yes. good. Check it out, we got some some snacks. What is this? A chicken leg. We got some fish and some, are these like beers only from here? Yeah, these beers were made like here in, in this, this city, yeah. Yeah, I got yuzu flavored beer. JDM IPA, baby. Yeah, this is cool. This is way nicer. And for once, it's just a shower. It's not a bathtub. This is kind of interesting. This little mirror they got going on here. Sink right here. TV on the wall. What is this little section? This is cool. It's a bridge. You got a safe. Bridge. I love it. I'm a, I'm a Marriott fan now. I'm only staying in Marriott. Are you a Marriott member now? Yes. <laughs> These lamps are cool too. Dang. Super fancy. Yeah. Do we even have to leave? Let's just stay here. <laughs> Invite the neighbors over. <laughs> yeah, we have seen kind of far, so we're probably gonna go on another two mile walk <laughs> to go get dinner. But we yeah. literally fasted like all day. We haven't eaten, We've just been driving. It's supposed to be a 13 hour drive home and it's turned into a three day trip. <laughs> we're enjoying our time. The babies are with the grandparents, yeah. so. That's the most important thing. Babies are being watched. Our staycation. <laughs> Cheers, boys. You guys want to hang out? <laughs> so apparently this is fish, rats, and kelp. Yes. And it's Leah's favorite, I guess. Favorite food. I've never tried it. And this chicken leg, it's freaking weird. Like, what is this, a hamstring? <laughs> I, I legit thought it was a fish feet. I mean. <laughs> I mean, chicken feet. You're so exhausted. I'm so exhausted. Hey. I thought it was fish feet, guys. <laughs> That's yummy. Mm -hmm. Give me the real answer. Mine has bones in it. No, no, no. no. You, you eat that. <laughs> you eat the bones. <laughs> you eat the bones. That almost just coughs so bad. <laughs> I thought I was gonna puke everywhere. Why? I'll chase it down with some chicken. That's so good. That's weird. This is really good. Hmm. You didn't try your JVM IPA yet. Mm -mm. And you would think it'd be more expensive. Like everything here mm. was like 12 bucks. Yes. Chicken, fish, two drinks, 12 mm -hmm. bucks at a hotel. Mm -hmm. You know, you would think they'd charge like 10 bucks for each of these mm -hmm. specialty beers. Mm -hmm. I'm living here. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. This place is cool. It's really chill. It's like Hakone vibes. Mm -hmm. We got to, we've literally been driving for like... Like eight hours we drove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We drove from Hiroshima all the way to, I don't know where we are now. Gifu. Gifu. Gifu Prefecture. And then we got to go all the way back to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And I have one stop that I want to go to. That's for you. I was like, I know Josh is gonna love this place. He's gonna think it's so cool. We'll see. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. You know me better than anyone, so mm. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. But you guys are coming with us. So we're trying to make something of this vlog because there hasn't been too much exciting footage. Oh yeah, because we were supposed to go to Itsukushima Jinja. And um, where's that? Oh yeah, I, I wanted to go to the nuclear bomb uh, museum, but yes. both of those got canceled because the battery, the battery died, right? That's why I like Yeah, first COVID. day. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've explained our schedule. Oh, you haven't? Not really. Maybe I have, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, first day the battery took crap and we were waiting at that dealership for five, five hours. hours. <laughs> so that ruined our first like segment of our trip. So mm -hmm. we ended up staying and getting a hotel somewhere. Driving and, as much as we could. Yeah, and today we were supposed to be here and exploring this whole area. Mm -hmm. 
but we got here tonight and we've been driving like all day. The car had the, you know, transmission issues and whatnot. We didn't even have time to eat. <laughs> we literally didn't have time to eat. We've just been running all over the place. It's been kind of a failed trip, but I want to make it worth our while mm -hmm. this whole three days mm -hmm. that we'll be gone. And this place is actually an hour out of the way. So we went an hour out of the way into the mountains because Leah just really wants to go to this place. So I'm, I'm actually really excited to go. No, you're not. I am, because I drove an hour out of the way even though we had to drive 13 no. hours. So imagine I'm driving and she's like, can we go to this spot? I'm like, yeah, let's go, sure. And the map just shows like a hard left in the complete opposite direction. But it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. It's so worth the drive. Yeah. And there's no other place like this in Japan. And I'm hoping that's going to be the highlight yeah. of this vlog. Yeah. Besides buying a Ferrari, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. But You're yeah. not going to eat that? I am going to eat it. I love bones. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's our trip so far. I hope you guys are still around watching. <laughs> Wait for the exciting stuff. We'll either see you in the next segment, which will be eating some bomb food, if you find bomb food. Other than that, we'll see you guys maybe in the morning. All right, about a 20 minute walk later, we ended up at this huge yakiniku place and it is literally in the middle of nowhere. I'm excited. It's probably gonna be fire. This is interesting. Everyone takes their shoes off right here. All right, we're going. I'm doing it. I think so. that's like what the locals do. <laughs> I guess, pretty big. So red. Yeah, because we're in the country, so they have space to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> Just make a huge waiting room. This is cool. This is nice. The menu. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Look at the meat. The course is $22 for all this. Yeah, it's actually really good. It's two people. It is. Yeah. Two people course for yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah, this place looks fire. I am hungry. Yeah, really? <laughs> Let's eat. Um, apparently, this is their specialty drink that I ordered, and it is, it's freaking huge. What is this? I have, to, I have to put this in my stomach. This is insane. You got it. That's the biggest mega joki I've ever I've seen. I've never seen something so big in my life. Yeah. I'm just drinking a pitcher. Of the lemon sour. <laughs> Anyways, we got a beef tongue, which is, you know, cow tongue. <laughs> yep, that's what it is. It's really good. And the salad is just way too big. Wagyu horomo, which is intestines. It's freaking liver, boys. Yep, liver. Let's liver. Go. I'm starving. What's happening? <laughs> we are walking to the hotel, and these guys have a skate park. And I heard skating yeah. from a distance. I'm like, they're skating in there. Knock on the door, they're like, come in. Yeah, he gave me his board. Yeah, let me yeah. skate. So it's been like three years, but we're gonna hit it.
This is the spot, guys. I heard skating going on in here, and the light was on, and I was peeping through the window, and they were skating. I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it. Did it. I did it. I finally skated for the first time in like three years. It's been a while. That was fun. Oh, that was sick. What a... The trip got better. Yeah. We were just talking about how the trip sucked. <laughs> and that was like, that was my highlight. Yeah. That was good. cool. I wish I wasn't so full. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's good. Good times. Uh, yeah, now we got to find. Look at this skate park. Look at this. This is insane. This is insane, boys. Oh my gosh. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I felt like I was in high school again. <laughs> uh, good night. We will see you, boys, in the morning. Good morning. Beautiful day in the Ferrari. Got our coffee. We're going to start the day. That was a nice hotel. That was the best one yet. And it really wasn't that expensive. My uh, number one Marriott, Henry. Right? Number one Marriott, <laughs> Yeah, look at me. I look like a skater. Yep, you're slowly <laughs> turning into a skater. <laughs> that was fun. You bought a skater. You were trying on that skater t-shirt and yeah, yeah you I really look the part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I dig it. I look like a high schooler in those clothes. Yeah. It was cool though. Hi. I had a good time. I woke up, felt like I went through a washing machine. <laughs> I feel 30. <laughs> Definitely, this is 30. But you're not 30 yet. I'm not 30 yet. I will be soon. What's the plan, poor guy? Just wait. Okay, okay. we're gonna just, just wait. wait. Just wait. Wait and see. I'm bringing you to a magical place. All right, we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll see. It's a surprise for all of us, guys. I guess we're taking a 7-Eleven stop, and Leo wants to show you guys something. Remember last time we showed you guys the smoothies when yep. we went to uh, Guma Prefecture? Everyone loved it. I got a bunch of DMs from people saying, like, I love the smoothie section. There's another thing that they do here, the coffee. They go to 7-Eleven and they have these cups of ice. And it says iced coffee or iced cafe latte on it. And you bring this to the register and you make your own coffee. Okay, let's do it. I think I need to get this. I haven't seen it. it in a while. Yeah. Okay. Are so, you so excited? <laughs> I want to show everyone. All right. That's it. Boom. Syrup. Gum syrup is a must. Hi. Okay, this. Okay, cool. And you have coffee. <laughs> the country is beautiful. I love Looks it. like we're in Colorado or something. So Look at the mountains. The air is different here. It is, right? Look how scenic this looks. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love it. Nothing better than walking to a Ferrari out of 7 Eleven. <laughs>
This is pretty country. We are in the mountains. Where are you bringing us? Oh, there's a magic looking right here. There's so many people. No parking. I mean, no parking. Oh my gosh. so sick. I have no clue where we're going still. Leah just is trying to beat everyone up this mountain. But how sick is this? What is going on? She always plans some cool stuff. This is too cool. I want to hike over here. This is so dope. What? Big nature guy. <laughs> Not really. This place is so cool. What? How does she know about these spots? Where are we going? Are you guys enjoying this? Because I am. What is this? Where is she bringing me? Oh, I think I know what this is. I know what this is. You know what I know what it is. You get your noodles out of the running water. This is so interesting. It is so packed. Now this is kind of how it is. Well, it's about a 40 minute wait, but should be even soon. I wanted to show you this. That's pretty cool. Well, while we're waiting, we're just gonna explore. Jungle vibes right now. Jungle? This is like the mountain. jungle. In the jungle. We're like in a tree house. This place is really interesting. Did you find this on TikTok? Yeah. You did, huh? Yeah. All I watch right now on social media is like Japan's like these kind of crazy spots in Japan. Here's the real life TikTok. <laughs> While we're waiting, we're gonna go check out this waterfall. It's supposed to be up here. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So cool. Are you hyped? I'm so, this is like, this is what I want to do every day. I want to live here. We can live here once we retire. I can't wait till retirement. <laughs> what is that, like in 30 years? Give me five more years. I'll be retired. Just kidding. <laughs> well, we're, we're thinking they're calling our number right now. So we're going to shoot back and hopefully start eating because we got to get back on the road. We're still five or six hours away from home. So how often do you get to grab noodles out of a flowing little river? <laughs> so weird. Eat, eat with it. Yeah, so that's Hi. Oh, good job. This is amazing. How amazing does it taste? It's amazing. It's amazing? It's so good.
All right, I'm full. I think we're done. You can just keep eating. Are you full? Until you run out of milk. Exactly. Yeah. Well, um, we're full already. Oh, what an experience. Thank you. Okay. I really enjoyed well, that. Worth it. Yeah. Worth it, right? Way worth yeah. it. Now, I'm going to get on the road. <laughs> Soon. 